Uh, we healed over so far we found a hole in our boat. There's a, uh, right where the old manual bilge pump hose connects to the drain, the scupper drain. Whoever fiberglassed this in left a big, like, finger-sized hole in the back. And you have to really be healed over like rail in the water in order for it to come in. But man, does it come in. Before we could fix that little hole in our little boat, we decided to take a little trip to land. Which means it was time to transform Dory into a dinghy again. While we were on land, we met up with Dave, the owner of the boat that then helped deliver in step 7. So, this goes here. Oh my gosh. Boat. Just step, step down on this, on this beam. And it's oh, really that's really cool, a little swing chair. Yeah. So this comes part, part first while well, this comes out, just part way, yeah. and then this whole thing. Oh, so you have extended cup And then top. this, wait, 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 and then this goes oh, in yeah. that little... That locks in there. No, so you've got a food preparation place. really cool though. And there's actually a vice that's, there's a block and a vice that screws down into these so things so that you bench. can tip, use it as a workspace. That is... Oh yeah, the, the drawers. But it goes like way back there for even more. But like, it locks... Like so, everything is... A so everything locks in place. He designed the boat to take to, to withstand a rollover with things stay where they are. It was really cool to see the boat that Dan spent his first big trip on. <laughs> Dave also gave us our Enreach satellite tracker, which is a cool little device that lets you see where we are and where we've been. So for more information about how you can see our tracks, visit our Uma Angels page on our website, or you can find the link in the description below. After our little tour and before we headed back to the boat, we had one more stop to make. Fun? To fix the hole in our boat and to have fun under our boat. It's the first time that we spent less on boat repair than fun. that you could almost tap it and put a screw in it. What are they saying? Boat repairs, uh, or sailing is boat repair in exotic places? This is like grease. This is like <laughs> petroleum jelly. And this epoxy will cure underwater, so even if it was wet, or even if we did go sailing, it should technically cure. We thought we would need to add a layer of fiberglass over it, but because it's not a structural repair, it really wouldn't make a difference. 
Yeah, I don't need to talk about that. That's so much epoxy that things up in the game. And it's not a structural thing, it's just like a, a patch. If it was a structural thing, I'd be worried about it, but... Because, like, it's not holding either of these three pieces together, it's just like patching a little hole. Installed a manual bilge pop hose and the leak was fixed. Part of it is. Oh, the rest of it's kicking right now. Mm -hmm. And once the repair job was done, it was time to leave. Sealed off the hook and left Biscayne Bay for an overnight passage to Key Largo. The idea was to get there at sunrise so that we would have all day to enjoy the warm sun and super clear water. Yeah, it was pretty much like this all day. Oh, and turns out we were not in Key Largo. We sailed so fast that we overshot Key Largo and ended up incurring in Key Tavernier. But the next morning it was sunny, finally, so it didn't take us long to jump in for a swim. <laughs> Goodbye, not Key Largo Key. <laughs> not Key Largo. After a few hours, we sailed off anchor and decided to make our way back north. We are excited to share with you our next step when we eventually run out of wind. But until then, cheers! And someone's gonna be like, you should really use double hose clamps. <laughs> because, because, what's his face? Don Casey says, <laughs> his cruising sailboat book. <laughs> <laughs> Your laugh, Bradley. <laughs> <laughs>